so in this lesson i'll talk about an introduction to scaffold okay so before we get to scaffold cli or what is scaffold let's first talk about how does the native uh, way of container based application or kubernetes based application is built tested then pushed to a repository and then how it is deployed so as soon as a developer makes changes to the code right you will first need to update the docker image or you would need to build a docker image by using a docker build and you need to tag the docker image so that you can upload it to a repository by using a docker push command okay and in the same time if you are doing any testing the testing needs to be done and then finally you can deploy the application to the kubernetes cluster by using the manifest file and by doing a kubectl apply command or kubectl create command now here we are using multiple commands right and there are multiple steps associated now imagine if you are doing a local environment and you want to check your application to be deployed on the kubernetes cluster doing these steps again and again can be a frustrating process also if you want to do a continuous delivery right running these commands inside your delivery pipeline can be a tedious task okay so what scaffold does is basically it simplifies the process so scaffold is an cli tool which basically facilitates the continuous development of the kubernetes based application okay so scaffold basically takes care of the entire workflow which we saw in the last slide it basically builds pushes and deploys your application okay and it helps you to get a building block of your ci cd pipelines okay so it also solves the problem of local development so locally also if you're developing an kubernetes based application or containerized application you would need to repeat this process again and again scaffold basically listens to the changes and it does the build push and the deployment step automatically for you so you don't need to run these multiple commands again and again and scaffold can do continuous deployment to your local environment or else your kubernetes cluster as well so this is what scaffold is so it basically gives you following key features it basically fast the local kubernetes process kubernetes development process right so scaffold can be uh, deployed or it can be used anywhere so it can be deployed on your local machine it can be deployed on cloud uh, when i say in cloud it can be integrated with uh, google cloud uh, cloud build service everything what you need to do the entire workflow is defined inside one single file known as scaffold yml file and it is lightweight so you don't need to deploy any uh, agent or any software inside your kubernetes cluster right it is deployed on the client machine or if you're not using it locally uh, if you're doing a ci cd then it would be deployed on your uh, it would be deployed on uh, it would be deployed on your ci machine if you're doing it on cloud in google cloud it would be deployed on uh, cloud build service okay so these are some key features when you talk about workflow of scaffold then the following things the following steps are taken first thing it will basically collect and watch for the changes inside your source code okay if the changes can be directly synced to the pod it will try to sync those changes again there are sync command or else it will build an artifact from the code when i say artifact here it would be a docker image okay it will test the artifact by using testing tools like container structure test or you can even run custom scripts then it can tag your container images or docker images it can push them and then finally it can deploy the artifact which in the scenario is a docker file and then it wanted the deployment like if, if it's deployed successfully or not and then you can again integrate the notification part and then finally once this is done it also cleans up the workspace for any artifact which it was uh, built so this is the workflow of scaffold now when it comes down to supported tool for building uh, testing and deployment right so for building it supports docker file it supports bezel it supports uh, jib and jib or you can say maven or gradle okay now when you talk about building docker file you can build docker file using scaffold locally you can do it uh, inside kubernetes cluster as well as you can also deploy it on cloud by using cloud build service it supports uh, bezel and jib local on your machine right for testing it supports container structure test and you can also run the custom scripts and for deployment part it supports kubectl it supports hamishard and it supports customize okay. so you can define all these tools as part of workflow okay, in your scaffold.yml file now 
how does the scaffold.pyml file looks like this is what it looks like okay very similar to your one it, it's manifest, manifest file so you will have uh, like in this example there is a build step where it will build an image using the docker file known as uh, scaffold hyphen example and then using the kubernetes manifest file it will deploy the application on the kubernetes cluster okay some important commands uh, associated with scaffold is scaffold init so this command basically creates an uh, sample or uh, or an basic uh, scaffold file it, depending upon whatever uh, docker files and yml files you have inside your repository where you are running this command then if you are doing it if you are using scaffold locally then you can use scaffold dev command so it will build test deploy and listen to changes and if you are doing it as part of your ci cd or pipelines then in that scenario you can use scaffold run command again it will run the uh, scaffold yml file and it will do the build step test step pushing the image to the container registry step and finally deploying it using the manifest file so this is what scaffold is thank you for watching